what's up people, Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Today we're going to talk about a strumming technique. I'm going to show you a bunch of you know tricks and tips that I like to use all the time to make my strumming nice. Now, I do believe that it's not just about learning new strumming patterns. In fact, I think that sometimes you have to do your best to make the most out of the ones that you already know. So if you are a beginner, you've been struggling, uh, you know, getting the most out of your strumming patterns. Maybe this video is for you because we're not gonna just you know learn the strumming pattern, but we're also gonna talk about dynamics and different ways to interpret the pattern. Now let's start with the tip number one: diversify the strumming with dynamics. Now what I mean by that is let's just start with the most simple strumming pattern, just four downstrokes. Now we can change the way these four downstrokes sound by you know, changing the dynamics. So for example, um, I'm gonna strum this chord, four chords, E minor seven, G major, D major, and C add nine. Super simple chord progression. Now, these four downstrokes sounds like this. So as you can see, each strum sounds the same. It's kind of boring. So let's just play it like this. We're gonna play four different strums. We're gonna change the dynamics. So we're gonna have the strum, top, bass, and strum. Now top is obviously the top strings. The bass is obviously just the bottom strings. And then the strum is the full um, strum. So. Three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one. You see, we're still playing the same strum and pattern, but it sounds completely different. We can obviously use it in a different chord progression. Tip number two is diversify the uh, strumming with rhythm. And what I mean by that is, if we have the same strumming pattern, we can add one or max two additional notes to the, to the pattern to make it sound slightly different. Let me give you an example. Let's say that we are playing a strumming pattern with quavers. The quaver is the eighth note value. So we are having two strums per beat. So one and two. Now, obviously, we already talked about dynamics, so you don't want to strum all these chords the same. So let's just diversify things a little bit. Strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, 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 strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, strum, bass, 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 strum, bass, strum. Now, obviously, even though we are changing the dynamics here, it still kind of sounds way too repetitive. So we can uh, change and diversify the strumming rhythmically by adding one simple extra strum, one upstroke, right at the end of the pattern. Let me play it and then I'll tell you more about it. Three and four and one. So as you can see guys, when we have such a repetitive pattern, by breaking this pattern and by adding one simple strum, in this case one upstroke at the end of the pattern, then it changes the way uh, I change the chord. In fact now it feels like I'm changing the chord with more intention. Obviously, we're gonna keep this upstroke uh, just on the top uh, strings, so you don't wanna make it too loud. Remember, it's always about balancing 
the dynamics with the rhythm. Now tip number three, you can use a technique called palm muting. And so we could play the same strumming pattern and change it up even more if we add the palm muting technique. So we wanna lean the right hand palm on the strings right next to the bridge pins. And so we can have the chords, we can still hear the notes, but the chord is muted. And so we can add even more dynamics. So for example, I could play the chord progression like this. Now I'm obviously deciding to play the palm muting on the bass. So I have strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass. And then obviously I'm gonna add the upstroke. So now obviously we can change the chord progression and still use the same strumming pattern. Now tip number four, use something that I call the slower strum. This is something that I use all the time. Uh, it's pretty awesome actually. And it's very simple to apply. So let's just check the strumming pattern first. We're gonna play like this. Now the strumming pattern is very simple, really common in pop music. We have down, down, up, down, up, down, down. And the chord progression is C major with the G on the bass. And then the F major seven, A minor, and the G major. So what exactly is a slower strum? Well, the thing is we can change the way we approach certain strums. And so for example, we could play the first strum of each chord slower, like this. So it's a nice, uh, slow and lovely movement. It changes the way the strum sounds because with the regular strum, we just brush the strings quickly. But now we have a more melodic strum and we can use it at the beginning of each strumming pattern. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Now this beautiful melodic strum is something that you can use all the time. Obviously it works great when you have a slower tempo like this one, but you can experiment with this approach and see you know, where you can actually implement this beautiful and lovely slower strum. Now tip number five, combine the strumming with other techniques. Let me give you a quick example. So in this example, I'm combining single picking with the strumming. So I'm playing obviously a C major chord and I will pick the first three notes, one, two, three, and then I will strum the chords. So one, two, three, one, two, three, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, down, up, down. Now obviously guys, it's an awesome approach. I'm using my fingernail to uh, single pick the strings, but you can use a guitar pick if you prefer. And you can also use it in different chord progressions. Let me give an example in G major. So 
I'm playing down, down, down with the single pick. Down, up, down, 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 up. And here dynamics are really important, guys. So make sure that you uh, strum lightly just the top strings. The first strum is loud and then just the top strings. So that's it for today guys, uh, we talked about the strumming technique which we don't usually do on this channel but I think it's great to be able to implement as many techniques as possible in your playing. Now I'm going to leave you to practice this guys, uh, take it step by step and use all these strumming uh, techniques to play chord progressions that you already know. So remember always to take it step by step, start with the most simple, just the four down strokes and then you will move on to the next one when you feel ready. Now, good luck with this lesson and talk to you soon.